Hello and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube, who are today in England and also in the world. Hello, everybody. Uh, we have another guitar fix up video, people of the tube. Um, I was recently ki uh, given by um, Mr. Lee at Gallagher's Guitar Shop in Grimsby this guitar. Now, um, he said, Do you want a guitar? He says, Because I've. <laughs> It came in a while ago to the shop. I've, I've not had a chance to fix it up or go, uh, do anything with it. Do you want it as like a, a project just to kind of like to fix it up? And to which I always say, yes, please. So um, here it is. So what it is, it's just an encore. But I like encores. I think they get a bad rap and I don't really think it's fair because I think encores are really good guitars. The ones I've played, I, I really don't know. But uh, this one has seen better days. Uh, I'll tell you what, instead of just giving you that, I'll just put in a little clip here. So here's like 32 seconds flyby shot of, of the guitar as it stands uh, right now. And it's filthy. The strings are rusted. The fretboard is covered in gunk. Uh, it's dusty. The select switch is broken. Uh, I don't know if it even works, people of the tube. I've got no idea if this thing works because the, the jack socket is missing a nut. But... We will find out. We will find out. Uh, I'm not going to see if it works yet. I want to clean it because it's gross. Uh, so before I even make a noise with this thing, I want the strings off and I want to clean it because it's, it's really, really dirty and, and filthy. And it hurts me to see a guitar in this state. So we're going to take it all apart. Some of it I'm going to do off camera because you don't need to see me do every little bit. You, you know, I've got I've got other videos where I kind of, I've kind of done this kind of thing in in you know in depth, so to say. So today I'm just gonna it's gonna like a bit of highlights thing, and we're gonna see if we can bring this little beast back to life because again, like I say, I mean I I I've just noticed the high E string, <laughs> uh, sorry, the low E string of how it's wound. I'll tell you what, give me one sec, I'll 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 get a picture of it here. In the video right now and I'll put it in just check out this high E string if I can get it to focus there we go right so I got a picture so here check out that for uh, that that's that's definitely a, a knotted on string people of YouTube anyway we're gonna just gonna see what we see what we can do with this thing again I don't know what it's like the pickups are rusty the strings are rusty obviously they're going straight in the bin uh, the pots are all loose. Uh, it's missing a high E string, obviously. It's filthy. There's enough finger cheese on this one to fill a sandwich. Uh, or two, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, like I say, the neck, though. I've got to be honest, people, too. The neck is straight as an arrow. There's no bows or anything like that. It is a bolt on as well. So, you know, yeah, that's, that's kind of a bonus. But um, the neck is straight as an arrow. The nut looks good. Uh, the nut actually looks really it cut, looks cut really well. Uh, I don't know if it is. Uh, the frets are basically dead. Uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm going to polish them up and get them clean. This guitar hasn't had a great deal of play. Uh, it's been played a bit, but not like extensively. There is fret wear in the cowboy chord positions, but it, and and there is a lot of finger cheese on it, but. The frets don't show excessive wear on this thing. I mean, it's dirty, and it seems to me like, you know, this was a guitar that somebody played a fair bit, but never cleaned it. They never cleaned the the, 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 the body, the neck, anything. It's really, really grim. I don't know. Anyway, people, we'll enough waffle. Um, let's get on with this. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get rid of these blooming strings, because they're absolutely horrific. So also, we're going to check uh, to make sure the... Um, Machine heads all work, so low E works. What the hell is that string doing? The low E string moved in a bizarre manner. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I, I'm I'm suspecting it's to do with the amazing yeah you know, square knot in the uh, in the machine head there. I'm actually just gonna I'm I've got I've got a peg winder out, but I'm actually gonna do it by hand. They're a bit loose. Well, the D string's extraordinarily loose. I mean, there's, there's so much play in that; it's ridiculous. But they work, and they can be tightened, and I'll, I'll show you how I'll do that in a minute. These strings, man, were heavy as well. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't know what gauge strings these were, but I would say, well, educated guess, 11s? 
maybe. And I don't think they're quite twelves, but they were heavy. I mean, that G-string is like a spies grot wire. It's horrific. Anyway, that's slackened off. Let's get these horrible rusty strings off. I'm gonna cut them where there's less rust, so I don't, you know, die of tetanus. Okay, uh, I'm also gonna remove this. Get those out. Okay, you go down there. You go there, because you're condemned. Uh, so yeah, let's get this. Oh, hang on. Let's see if this is. Should I let you? Okay. B string came off easy. G string is. Knotted on with a square knot, like you know, that, that makes all the difference. I, I, this drives me insane. People are too. When people put strings on and they put it through the 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 the, uh, the the post at the top, the machine head post, and then they put it through again, so they kind of like wrap it around and they think that'll make it stay in tune better. It, ugh, drives me insane, especially when you're trying to fix a guitar. Uh, see, that one's good. That one's normal. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this low E string. I'm kind of leaving this in basically at this point in time for comedy value. Oh, okay. The uh, the A string just disintegrated. <laughs> There's the top of it. It just evaporated into uh, into thin air, which is always fun. Actually, I don't think the low E string is actually as bad as it looks. I think it's just had... They couldn't be asked to cut it by the looks of it. Yeah, that's fine. That'll come off easy. There we go. That's a big string, man. That is a big string. That's easily an 11. That's easily a set of 11s that are on this thing. Right. Uh, gross strings are off. Oh my good lord, look at this dust on it. It's actually horrific. It really is horrific. So, we're gonna deploy cleaning products and, uh, and go from there. I'm not gonna bother taking the neck off. I don't need to, you know. Uh, truss rod adjustment is up here. It is a bolt on, like I said earlier on. But I don't feel the need to take the neck off to clean it. I can clean it just as well with it all assembled. But I don't really like... I don't really want to take the necks off anything uh, if I don't need to. Yeah, it just seems a bit... It's kind of pointless. Yeah. It, it, it's not It's not worth it for anything. Okay, so let's have a look under the scratch plate, people with you. Let's see the, uh, the damage. Not bad. Not bad. I have seen worse. That isn't bad, actually. I've got to be honest. Let's get the bridge off. I can guarantee that's not intonated. Or it might be. I've, uh, weirder things have happened. Let's put it that way. Remove the studs as well. I'll get rid of all these. Okay. Before I do any cleaning, I am going to put on a glove as well because it's really gross. I don't normally put on gloves. I just make sure I don't do anything silly. <laughs> um... And again, it's only really, really dust, there is, but there is a quite a lot of finger cheese on there. Right, that's the studs out and everything. Uh, can I get these off? I don't... Yo, that came off pretty easily. That came off easily. There's going to be one, people of the tube. If there's four knobs on a guitar, there's always one. There's always one. You ready? Is it going to be... Not this time, though. I already love this guitar, can you tell? So... They're actually... I thought they were loose. And uh, they're actually not. So I'm guessing... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, uh, I do need a new selector switch at some point on this guitar. So obviously this will be more than a single video, so to say. Uh, I need to tighten those machine heads up as well, especially that D-string one. Check this out. So if I get that up there, check out the D- Hey, lad. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just put you there. Check out the D-string wobble there. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. Right, okay. Uh, let's get some cleaning stuff on this guitar and get it cleaned up because it's actually horrific. It's actually horrific. The pickup angles are bizarre as well, because what they've done on the net pickup is they've boosted up the bass side really high and sunk the treble side really low. So that would just give you, like, immense bottom end. I don't think it would sound particularly fantastic unless you have an extraordinarily trebly amp, in which case I'll do the job. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's start with the body. Let's get the body nice and clean, and then we'll we'll go from there. So just to give you a, a close-up now, people, nothing's going to fall off, is it? 
So, I don't know if you can kind of see. Maybe I forget. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see all the dirt and grime. Where the scratch plates, what bin, you can see all the dirt as well. All the grossness. It's quite hard to get, but you can kind of see in the diffuser light. There you go. So that's how it looks right now, the body. The back is kind of more of the same. Again, I don't know how well but it'll come across, but you can see it's just gross. Sides are the same. Uh, the only part that isn't really gross is the back of the neck, <laughs> which is, you know, is what it is. But yeah, so I'm going to... Uh, dig into cleaning this with uh, Crimson Guitars products because they're amazing and they always work and I just love them to bits. It's not sponsored, but I love them. This is the fretboard and finish cleaner and I'm going to be using the uh, fretboard restorative when we get to the fretboard as well. But I'm going to use this on the body first and we'll get to the neck in a moo. So I'm going to turn off the camera now, clean the body up for the next while. Um, which, but it won't take too long, but it's, you never know. Uh, the rust on the pickups is worrying me. Uh, I have seen worse, but only just. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute, people, too, with a clean, clean guitar. I'm going to do the headstock as well, because check that out. That is actually grim as can be. So I'm going to clean this thing up. Now I'll be back in a sec with a very clean guitar. See you in a second. Ha ha ha. I'm going to do people, too. So 45 minutes later, and the guitar is clean. Frets are polished, finger cheese is all gone, fretboard is clean, the body's clean, it, the back's clean, everything's clean. It's pretty and gorgeous and just looks happy. There you can kind of see in the light the difference. And also on the fretboard here as well, if I get in close enough, you can kind of see there's no finger cheese left on there now. I've, I've polished the frets, I don't know how, that probably won't come out very well. Headstock is no longer covered in dust, that's all shiny and happy. Uh, Backs all shiny and happy as well. You can see yourselves, people on YouTube. Look, there you are. Um, but yeah, so done. Basically, what I need to do now is I need to sort out these machine heads. And I thought I said I'll do that on camera, so I will. So I'm going to just uh, do the D string one to show you how to kind of, well, how to do it, as I say. So, and then I'll do the others off camera because I want to do them all, maybe. I don't know, it might be lazy. And, and just go, nah, no, I'll just do this one for now. Saying that, some of them don't need doing. The high E's pretty good, the B's pretty good, the G's pretty good. In all fairness, it is just the D string that's really, really moving, and I don't like that, it really bothers me. So, come on, screw. Get it out. So, I'm gonna move the guitar there. These machine heads, so ones with these kind of like, um, I don't know whatever you'd call that shape, back. Uh, all, all you need to do when you take them off, uh, when, you, when you unscrew them, is basically pull the cover off the back, the cover just comes off, and you're left with the open gear. So it looks like that. And basically all you need to do is tighten that screw, which uh, is actually surprisingly tight on this one. It just moves. So I can't actually tighten this. That looseness is just the way it is, sadly. Because normally what happens is when these things uh, have been turned up X amount of time or whatever, that screw in the center of that is really loose. And as a result of that, yeah, the, the whole the whole machine head's a bit squiffy, but I'm not on this case, which is very rare. But I, I've not encountered that a lot, people too, but it's very, very rare. And of course it has to happen on camera, doesn't it? But it's okay, that's okay. It's one less job to do. So uh, so there we go, That's that was, that's it, like basically, uh, with, with machine heads like this. And again, yes, machine heads like this aren't fantastic. You know, they're not, they're not the, they're not, they're not Goto, Clouson Deluxe, uh, Grover, you know, quality machine heads. But they will do the job. You know what I mean? They, they will do the job. They're not as horrific, I don't feel. As they're made out to be. So, I'm just going to check the electrics. Let's have a look in there because I need to clean out the electrics. Although I can do that once it's strung up, it's not really an issue. But I'll I'll, I'll do that now. We'll just we'll just have a quick Google on the insides. Let's look at its insides. Let's see what they look like. Weird, Dave. You're a bit of a strange boy, aren't you? Yes. Anyway, let's go. So I thought again. I thought the pots were loose. They're not. I think the um. 
the knob covers are kind of a bit maybe rounded out or something. I don't, I don't know. Either way, let's have a look. <laughs> Number two, or is it an S? I don't know. No one has ever been in here, people of the tube. I can guarantee that one. Somebody has, though, at some point in this guitar. Oh, no, they are loose. The pots are loose. They just don't look it from the top. Somebody at some point in this guitar's life, though, has tried to tighten the jack socket without taking the jack socket apart, and they've made the wire go all funky. So that's not good. But we have a spare... Um, screw on here which doesn't want to come off because it's kind of seized so at least we can kind of actually with that we can actually tighten it which is nice i was hoping there'd be a, uh, a second screw which is actually supposed to have uh, the effect of it moves the jack socket in deeper but we're not doing that and again i'm not really that fussy so let's put that back in da -da 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 -da, if i can come up Come up, my little friend. Come on, you know you know you, know you want to. Good, good boy. Come on. Yes, out, out. No, don't go. No, out. Good boy. Well done. Okay, the jack socket is going to be absolutely ridiculous, but it doesn't matter at this point in time. At least it'll be. Uh, well, it won't be anything because Dave's dropped the washer because he's a spaz. Uh, okay, come on. There we go. So this is going to be hysterical, uh, because <laughs> because it just. Oh, I don't. It doesn't matter. It's fine, Dave. Just forget it. Okay, I can't, Dave. It's annoying me. Okay, where's Fat Max? There he is. Fat Max, everybody. Everybody say hello to Fat Max. So I'm just going to tighten these washers on all these. It's really... I'll tell you what. The, the routes in the back where the pots are are not easy. It's got the small little alpha pots. Uh, that one's okay. That one's okay. That one's okay. So it's just this top. This just this top one here that needs tightening. And I'm sure there's a million people going, You're doing it wrong, Dave! You're doing it wrong! I wouldn't do it that way. No. There we go. Is that better? Are you feeling happier? Yes, that's the one. We've actually got more writing in here as well, but I can't make it out. Anyway, is this guitar plywood? It doesn't look like plywood, it looks like some kind of weird composite wood. I don't actually know what wood it actually is. It's not wood, is it? I don't think so. Oh, it might be. I mean, I, who knows? It doesn't matter if it is or not. I don't care. I like the guitar. Well, uh, again, we don't know if this works yet, Pure Tube. We, we don't know. I have not plugged this thing in yet to even see if it makes a noise or anything like that. I'll say the jack socket's loose because I need to sort that out without extra washers, which I have forgotten because I'm an idiot and uh, yeah just an idiot and uh, didn't bring them with me to Queenie so I left them at home 150 miles away so dough is the word I would use there I don't think I've got any spares here actually okay so that's that done I'm not gonna bother checking the jet the, uh, the, the the select switch the select switch is broken anyway I need to, I need to get a new one um, so strings is the next job uh, yeah, so I'll need to get it strung up, get the action set, and um, I'm not going to bother with intonation. I'll do intonation off camera at some point. Again, I've got videos on how to do intonation, this, that, and the other. But, yeah, we're pretty much ready to see if it lives and see if it sings and that makes any noise, um, which will be very interesting. I'll say all those pots are clean now. Well, oh, that's the point. I didn't clean out the pots. I meant to do that, people at YouTube, and I've forgotten because, again, idiot Dave is on the, on the case here. You need a job doing correct? Call somebody else. So I'll put these back on for now. So now I don't really take them off anymore. Uh, well, unless a pot's broken or something, I don't know. But, yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. The encore is close to breathing. Well, maybe. So, um... Looks like a guitar though. It looks like a very, very clean, clean guitar. And I say, I like it. I like this guitar and I love doing this stuff. You know, it's, this is a guitar that not many people would have even bothered with. It, it would have gone in the bin and that would have been that, you know. It, 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 it was, it's just, it's, you know, the whole thing of like, it's just an encore. 
you know, yeah, but it, 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 there's, it's so much more than that, you know. There's, there's something special about these. Oh, well, any, any guitar, really. I mean, I'm, I'm just obsessed. Basically. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get some strings. going to string it up with gauge tens. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. How is that? Yeah, that, 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 that D string machine is a bit dodgy, but we'll see. We'll see how it holds up. So I'm going to get some strings. I'm going to string it up. Next thing you see, it will have strings on it and be relatively in tune. Like I said, I'll do intonation off camera uh, because again, it, you know, I don't need to waste your time you watching me do that. But it's looking good, people. You know, it's feeling happy. Um, it's been sat for quite a while since I got it from Lee at Gallagher's. Uh, it's been sat for a, quite a while, um, at least like you know, about five six days. Uh, just 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 sat out. It's actually just been lent just behind me on there, and um, I've been kind of like kind of itching to get on with it and uh when i have speak uh, when i had spare time so and here we are and we're, we're getting there with it now so i'm feeling good the guitar's feeling good it wants strings it wants to, it wants to live you know and there's only a handful of guitars i've ever tried to fix that didn't want to be weren't interested this one wants to live i can feel it whether it's going to be any good or not i don't know but we will find out um but i have faith i believe it'll be a great guitar so, I'm going to get some strings on it, and uh, I will see you again in but a moment. See you in a sec. Okay, with the tube. So, uh, the guitar is strung up. Uh, it needs a fret level. The frets are awful. Uh, yeah, they're wonky. It needs a fret level. So, the action's quite high for it to play, but it lives. And it rings. It sings. Don't know if it works yet, people tube, so we're about to find out. So, uh, plugged into the Boss Katana. Let's see if it makes any noise. Ready? I haven't plugged it in yet. This is the first time this guitar has been plugged in in years. So it might not work. It doesn't work. I mean, it's making noise. Dead in the water. Now that's either the pickups or the electrics. You might be able to find. We're getting something from there. Okay, so let's let's take the back panels off and let's see if we can see if we can see anything. You know, see see if it'll see if we can bring it to life. Is it a wire? I don't know. I kind of expected it not to work, but I was kind of hoping for a kind of a hoff in a situation. So if selector switch is fine, that's wired in as it should. I'm a bit worried about the output jack because like I say, somebody's tightened it at some point in its life without taking, like holding it. So as they've spun it to tighten it, they've twisted the wire. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if you can see that in the, in, when I got that, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's a shame. I really hoped it would make noise. That wire is so twisted out. No. There's something dead here. Um, I mean, no one's been in here. I mean, it's, it's all... Soldered on correctly. No, nothing. Nothing's. Um, nothing's out of place. There's no kind. Of, there's no kind of wire that's broken off or anything like that. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna plug that. Shut that up for a second. Let's see. Let's look at this jack socket again. While we're here. So. What's going on? Oh yeah, I see what's going on here. So. When, Lord, when, so I need to do a bit of soldering. So when they twisted this wire, come here, people, the tube, I will show you closer. So when they twisted the output jack, um, like you can see here, look at that, against like, you know, if you, look how twisted that wire is. When they twisted that, 
they broke the wire. I, I didn't see that, actually. I, I, the wire was kind of like... I, well, I thought it was in contact. It wasn't, actually. So, basically, the output jack needs resoldering. Pretty easy job. I can't do that tonight, unfortunately, so... Uh, that'll be a tomorrow jobby, and I'll I'll pick this I'll pick this video up tomorrow because it's quite what are we on ten to nine right now, um, but it does need resoldering. It's a bit of a mess to be honest with you. This is a real mess. Uh, I mean the uh, the uncovered wire is pretty good, but I bet any money if I plug this back in. Turn it off mute. Touch this to this. It makes a noise. Jumpers caught because it, it's caused the jacks like upside down there now. I think we've, I think we're, I think we're playing uh, with our luck here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> let's not, let's, let's not push our luck there, people. You, you heard it though. It makes noise and it sounds good and it feels good. It needs the fret sorting, so it needs the jack socket resoldering, which is a very easy job. It's only one wire, even. The, idiot like me can do that uh, and that's that's gonna be like a five second job so basically uh, again you won't be able to see it probably unless I get it closer but uh, it just needs the white wire which I don't remember ground and uh, ground and live uh, it needs the white wire re resolving but look at the state of that lead look at it you see how kinked and twisted it is because and it won't surprise me if this is the reason they got rid of the guitar like, it's invariably small little things like this that make people sell guitars. Like, you know, they'll, they'll over-tighten the jack socket or, or or they'll twist one of the pots and the leads will come off or whatever. And they go, it's broken, can't be asked to fix it. Too much money, can't be asked, get rid of it. Um, when it's just an easy job. It's five-second jobs with a soldering iron. Even an idiot like me can do it. So, yeah, so I'm going to get that fixed. I'll put that back in there. I'll get the back plates back on. Um, I always find these back plates to be annoying because you can never, I can never remember which way to go on. So you end up just like twiddling around with it. Anyway, it made noise for YouTube. Did you hear that? It lives, it breathes, and my gravy lord, did it sing or did it sing? So it's alive. We have that on our side. And again, I didn't, when it didn't make any noise, I was kind of, well, it buzzed. When it didn't make any noise, I was, I was a bit confused because I was like, everything's connected and this guitar's barely been, you know, it, it hasn't been touched, you know, but the soldering has not been touched. So um, I was a bit confused by the lack of noise, if you will. But again, that makes sense. Just a jack socket. Uh, invariably as well, if, if a guitar buzzes like that did, it's the jack socket. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find another... Uh, screw as well uh screw washer nut 
I don't know. Uh, to um, <laughs> to get the uh, to get that on, I'm gonna leave that in there sealed in. And I say I need to get that resoldered. I also need to get the frets leveled as well. These all be things I'll, I'll I'll do off camera. I won't be doing them on camera. I've got videos of of me resoldering things and also fret leveling on 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 the channel uh, somewhere. Um, so it's kind of like you know, I'm not I'm not going to bore you to tears with me just like you know, fret leveling yet another guitar and resoldering one wire. It doesn't seem seem to make any sense. So the next video you're going to see on this one, people, with you is basically a demo of it. So usual thing is I'm just going to plug it in and get lost in it. Um, like I say, the frets will be sorted out of time. I'll have the intonation done. Although the intonation seems pretty spot on, actually. Uh, I'll have the pickup heights right and uh, it'll be ready to ready to go. Having strings on that D string uh, with the, the wonky not, uh, wonky thingy, uh, it's sorted out completely. There's no, there's no issues now with that. That's totally fine. Uh, I need to put that back to that one. Um, staying in tune, I've only stretched the strings once since I put uh, strings on it, but it's got dead frets. You can hear it's just not, it's not singing enough. Whereas other frets that work better. The guitar sustains. The whole thing like vibrates as well. It's a really, really nice feeling guitar. Um, the nut could do with a little bit of sorting out. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. But we're talking like again, another five second job with the file. <laughs> but yeah, it lives for YouTube. There you go. Uh, the Encore is alive. It just needs one fret, fret leveling, one wire resoldering, and we're done. And it doesn't need a massive fret level, to be honest with you. Um, it's only the old fret here and there. It's just the action. The action is, it's not ridiculously high. I just, I, I feel like I can get it lower and a little bit more comfortable. Plus I can, the neck's straight as an arrow and I don't like when necks are straight because I, I feel tension that I don't like. I like a little bit of relief on the neck. So I'm going to slacken the trusher on off like you know, a micro turn uh, once I've got the frets leveled uh, just to, just to, just make it a bit more playable for me. But the whole guitar feels great. Look how clean, look how good that fretboard came up as well. I am forever impressed with Crimson Guitars cleaning stuff. It, it just blows my mind. And I, I, was, I'll, I will never use anything again. Anything else other than that again. I'm good at English, honest. Yeah, the action's a little bit higher than I would like. It's quite hard to... kind of get around. Wouldn't take a lot to getting used to, though. It wouldn't take a lot of getting used to. It's just a little bit... awkward. Especially doing, like, diminished chords. Uh, moving... Moving fast 
with chords is quite difficult because there's 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 still a lot of resistance there. Nice note though. There's some dodgy frets. It's a lovely guitar though, people with tube. And again, I'm always so proud and i don't get proud of myself a lot but and i know i know it's nothing to be you know <laughs> blowing your own trumpet about but i'm always so proud when i'm able to kind of like bring one of these guitars back to life like I say you saw it at the beginning of the video here's here's a recap of what this thing looked like and to see it now is just like and to hold it as well it, it, it's like it, it feels happy i know that sounds a bit of a weird thing to say that a guitar feels happy but the guitar does feel happy uh and it just plays and necks so nice and the way it feels to play and there's music in this thing you know it's not just it's not just a cheap guitar that kind of doesn't mean anything the pots they move there's no real scratch to them i won't know how scratchy they are until i get the thing rewired like but Like I said, it wants to be alive, this guitar. It wants to work, it wants to breathe, it wants to play. And it's there. It just needs a little bit of work. It just needs a little bit of work, but it's pretty much there. We're about 90% there, and it's, you know, it's getting there. It has got dust damage on the on the finish around the outside. They, they normally do. But the rest, you know, the guitar is as clean as a whistle now. You can you can see it's very, very shiny. Yeah, headstock as well. It's it, it's alive. The fretboard's clean. The, the frets obviously will get better. Uh, pickup sounding great from what I heard. Um, we don't know how scratchy the pots are. I do need a new selector switch, sadly, because this one's, I say, this one's been snapped off and there's just nothing there to grab a hold of. But in a way, you can kind of... You can switch it. It's not like it's um, a mega hardship to switch uh, pickups, but uh, if you if you try to do it on the fly, forget it. You, you know you have to be really quite um, accurate, if you will. Anyway, people, tube. There you go. It's holding tune as well. I mean, it's slightly out. Yeah, you know, it's relative. Good enough for government work, as they would say. So apart from that dodgy fret there, which I think I can see, yeah, I can see it, it's low. So, um, I don't know, I hope that's not too low. No, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But, um, like I said, I, I need to take the truss rod uh, off a little bit, give the neck a bit of relief, because it's it's arrow straight at this point in time, and I don't like that. Fret level it, 
resolder that one lead in on the jack socket. And that's that. And as I said, I'll do that off camera. So the next video you see of this one, people tube, which uh, I don't know when it will be, probably. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything, but it, it won't be too long, hopefully. Um, next video you see of this guitar, we're just going to get lost in it, basically, and just have fun. And uh, there's a paint run there in the headstock. I don't know if you'll be able to see it if I can get it in light properly. Probably not. Oh, maybe. Maybe if I don't. Can I get it? No. I can't get it. Anyway, you might have seen it. If you did, cool. If you didn't, sorry. Uh, but there's like a paint, basically a lacquer run there in the in the, uh, in the the paint where the, the lacquer is kind of blobbed up into a big clump. But yeah, I love this bit of the fretboard here. There's like a really lovely bit of wood grain. And again, like I say, guitars like this, when they break, invariably just get, you know, discarded and chucked away. And I always feel really sad when one of these things gets chucked away so, um, and I'm really grateful to Lee for giving me it, you know, because it, it could have easily just sat and sat and sat and sat forever, this thing, and and never, never sang again, but here we are. Oh my God, I, I really just want to play this for an amp with loads of reverb and like a fairly clean sound on the neck pickup, which I will do. The way it sustains though. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to get off because uh, I'm, I'm taking up your time now by just noodling about on this gorgeous, gorgeous little guitar. Anyway, there you go, people tube. Encore guitar fix up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Um, and like I say, nothing's dead until it's dead. No, 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 guitars aren't dead until they're dead. This wasn't quite Hofner super solid levels of, oh my God, that's a mess. But it wasn't far behind it. It really wasn't. Like I say, I mean, you, you know, you've, you've seen the footage of what it looked like before. It, we've uh, we've we've cleaned it up here and give it a new lease of life, so to say. So, yep. Next thing you're gonna see is you're gonna be making some music with this thing, and I can't wait. I really can't wait. And I think it is. I think it is a. It is wood. It's not plywood. But normally plywood. It could be like an MDF bow, it could be like a composite. The fretboard, I don't know what that is. It could be rosewood of some description, but I don't actually know what the what the fretboard is. If, if anybody knows what the, the these encores were made out of guitar uh, body wise, other than plywood and also neck uh, the fretboard material, neck material, and uh, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd be very curious to know because I don't actually know what this is. It's not plywood because I looked in the pickup cavities and you haven't got the the lines of all the wood in there, so. I don't know. Anyway. Intonation seems pretty spot on to be fair. I don't have to touch that. So uh, I'm happy about that because I hate doing intonation. It bores me to tears. And it's only ever relative anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get off. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'll say another guitar cleanup video, another guitar rescue, if you will. Um, yeah, thanks to Lee at Gallagher's for this and uh, for, for letting me have it and uh, fixing it up and letting it live again and uh thank you all for watching and uh if you like the channel and like the videos i do here please consider becoming a patron at patreon links to that in the description box below as well as links to me Bandcamp, and some other social media gubbins down there anyway thank you very much indeed people tube um like i say if you see a guitar like this that's lost and unwanted and doesn't have a home and needs some love take it in love it fix it up get it singing and they can bring you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. And there's always music in these things. I've only encountered a handful of guitars in my lifetime that didn't have music in them. And uh, I'll be very curious to what comes out of this thing once it's all all done and and uh, ready to go. I really will. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, there you go, PooPooTube. Uh, see you again. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Goodbye now.